Hey, this is Trolls from ADL, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating our Adagio Ensemble Basses. We have two other videos demonstrating our Adagio Solo Bass and Adagio DVC or Chamber Section Basses, but in this video, I'm going to be focusing purely on our Ensemble Section, which is four basses. I'm going to be going through the majority of our core articulations in this video, and uh, let's kick it off with our beautiful Ensemble Legato Cantabile. Uh, there's been a, some uh, mocking online how I pronounced it in a previous video. I actually went to a website to get the right pronunciation and uh, there's a couple of different ways. There is uh, this one. Cantabile. 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 So I guess uh, I'm going to be demonstrating this Cantabile legato here. And um, also pay attention here, we have our natural that I demonstrated in other videos, our natural legato exactly like it's recorded in the sessions. We have our sustained crossfade here where you can use your mod wheel and your CC1 and, and 11. Uh, we highly recommend using both of them. A lot of people only use the mod wheel, but the best thing is to assign both of these sliders to your CC1 and 11. Of course, you can also reassign them in any other way. Um, we have our dynamic bowings, our short bows and lorays that I'm going to be demonstrating um, some of these in the video as well. Also, before I get started, just pay attention down here that we actually moved all the key switches for the bases in the top here to make more space. You can always double click here and reassign the key switches if you want, but uh, I prefer just to have them up here. It's a little easier to control the bases that way. But uh, with no further introduction, let's get started on the Legato Cantabile. <laughs> Let me try the Lorays next here. The Lorays are our fluent bow motion, so you get a very natural, fluent, rhythmic definition in the sound. Um, everything here, of course, is recorded at a given BPM. We have specific tempo synchronized patches, so all of the Lorays actually synchronize to your DAW tempo. Uh, let me try to demonstrate one here. Let me try to demonstrate another one here. The first two here are half note based and these guys down here are quarter note based. So they're going to be playing twice as fast. Uh, let me try to demonstrate one. And as you probably noticed in the end of the video, I was seamlessly going between the different arrays. All the articulations in every single legato patch we have in Adagio, and we actually have over 35, I think 36 different types of legatos that are all uniquely recorded, which is way more than you're going to find in any other place. All these ones seamlessly work together here, so you can use any articulation and blend them together, which has been taking us an enormous amount of time to figure out, because imagine recording all these different sessions and then getting it all to fit together in terms of dynamics, volume, types of legato, vibrato, you know, the whole overall feel of everything. But uh, let me try to demonstrate just one more here. Granted, that's just me playing right out of the box. Of course, if I had used our CC1 and CC11 here, you could have sculpted the sound even more, but this is just played straight out of the box, straight on the keys. All right, moving on here. Let's take a look at our beautiful dynamic bowings. As usual, we got a nice chunk of them here for our Dachio ensemble basses. Uh, let me try to demonstrate a few of them. And again, the concept with dynamic bowings, and I think we have in the entire Dachio collection, now we have over 120 different ones. 
and that's a staggering amount if you if you try to play with them. Um, the core idea here is that you can have a normal sustain, you can crossfade and all that stuff, but you're losing a lot of very delicate details in terms of vibrato, vibrato speed, the tension of the string, all that stuff that can't really be crossfaded. You think about crossfading a violin, that's not how it works in reality. It's a fluid morph of the string. Uh, let me just try to demonstrate a few of them here so you can get a feeling for um, the sort of swelling emotional quality in the note. As you probably noticed, there's a bow change in the middle of the PFP here as well to give that additional swell. And that's pretty impossible to play on a keyboard with normal samples. Uh, let me try to demonstrate another version here. I'm just going to try to play through a few dynamics in a fluent way so you can get an idea about how much range these guys cover in terms of their emotional expression. We also have Sardino dynamic bowings. Check them out. It's interesting with the basses and the high notes, there's such a beautiful innocence when you get that fragile vibrato on the top of it. I think there's it's a gorgeous sound. It's not right. The cello has a little of it, but it's very special for the basses. Let me try um, just another um, Sedino boring here. It's funny with the notion of Sedino because there's always that feeling that it has to be soft. Sedino doesn't have to be soft just because it's muted doesn't mean that you can't play hard on it. Um, if you check out our violas, for example, we have three different patches of just <laughs> viola, Sedino, spiccados. Colin and I went really deep in order to test out like how much dynamic range you can get in Sedino. Um, but that's um, that's another topic. Let's go here to the Lares and um, let's try to play a couple of them. The Lares again are fluent bow motions, so you get that very natural connected type of stroke in the in the sound I should also try this one here. This guy here is our half reps PFP Lorray. So essentially we have a swell in the sound on the Lorrays. So it's kind of good for really emotional expressive stuff. Check it out. And it's such a liberty just be able to play it straight on the keys. No nonsense at all, no fiddling with controllers at all. It's just sitting there and working. Let me try um, the quarter notes here as well. So they're going to be playing twice as fast. It's kind of a faster definition in the rhythm. And we also have this quarter rep Lou Ray PFP in the fast tempo as well. Um, let me try to play it in a more waltz-like 6-8 kind of configuration. Wunderbar. And moving on, we also got our short notes here. And as usual, we got our feathered spiccato, staccato, macado. We have our combo macado, feathered spiccato patch, pizzicato, and bartok. 
Uh, let me first here just try to demonstrate all the velocity layers and the round robin in the feathered spiccato here. As usual, we went completely nuts and deep on it. What we really learned with the bass is that on the softer notes, there's great, great expression. I think commonly we think about spiccato for basses as just a normal trailer. Duh, 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 duh. But uh, try to check out even the softer guys here. There's a beautiful expression in them. So you could really hear them going from that very soft to that more traditional tense fortissimo kind of thing. Uh, let me also try to play the same thing here, but I'm going to try to play a little more swelling up and down so you can really get a feeling for the sort of dynamic variation in the sound. Oh, I just needed to make a horn for that one. Uh, let me move on here to our staccato and macabre. Check them out. Let me also try to demonstrate our Mikado Feathered Spiccato patch here, which is a compo patch between the Feathered Spiccato and the Mikado. It allows you to play very fast, like Spiccato motion, and then hold down the key and trigger the Mikado as well. Great for like fast and then stopping kind of motion in it. Uh, check it out. And as mandated in any serious library, our beloved pizzicato. I'll spare you for the bar talk for the ensemble because it's really harsh, but uh, let, let, let me just play you on the pizzicato here. Moving on here, we got our sustains here. Um, I think just to keep this video somewhat entertaining and not too static, uh, I'm gonna skip over these guys as well. Uh, we got a normal sustained vibrato, and of course, we always encourage you to use your mod wheel or ideally CC1 and CC11 at the same time. We got Sedino sustains, we have tremolos, and of course, covering the entire dynamic range. We got half note trills and whole note trills as well. Um, but let me try to go down here to our soft slur. Um, in the beginning, I played one type of legato, our cantabile. Um, but in this one, I'm going to play our soft slur. It's a little slower than the cantabile, but it has a nice expression to it. But you might want to play just a tad slower than, than the first one. Let me try one more thing here, um, just to show you the concept of blending the different articulations here. And try to check this out. Let's wrap it up. My name is Trolls. This is ADO at Dot You Out.